Hey guys, so we're back and uh, we're gonna make it today. As soon as I came up here though, it's been sunny the whole way. Clouds started rolling in on me. I think I'm a bad weather magnet or something, I'm not sure. But anyway guys, it's been kind of a miserable day because for the most part it's been kind of warm and uh, it's it's been cold, the wind's real cold and the air's real warm so it's a, it's a hell of a time keeping your body temperature regulated up here and not sweating too much. And I'm on a little bit of a time crunch, so I was having to move a little faster than I wanted to. I'm getting really tired of being on a time crunch out here, guys. Oh, not much a guy can do about it. He's got to earn a living. Well, guys, there's Mount Shasta over there. We're looking at Mount Shasta from the peak of Mount A. come back for you guys might be kind of a short video today but I got you to the top welcome to the peak of Mount Eddy last thing you'd expect to find is concrete up here right the damn concrete looks like an old pier hole of some kind or something and there was something up here at one time I don't know what it is but we certainly wouldn't have made it the other day guys it uh, still had a lot of switchbacks and stuff to cover it had a lot of ground still you can pretty much see the whole county from here I found that guy in there how'd you like to have been the surveyor that staked that? been pretty cool. down in there. Alright guys, well this is it, this is the summit. We made it today. A little chilly, the wind is getting pretty cold. Like Jack uh, commented on my channel, it's these mountaintops are known for reaching hurricane winds, so you don't want to be up here late in the evening. Uh, down a little lower, gonna take some shots on the way. All right, there, kind of show you guys how cold it is up here, how chilly that wind is. That snow's just frozen on that side. All these trees and bushes look that way up here. Sure is pretty country, isn't it, guys? So always wanting to travel and go abroad and do this and that. And I've still got so many miles of country to cover right here. I just don't understand it. I tell her that television set will look the same in another country.
Because, ladies and gentlemen, I have miles to go and promises to keep. Some of them are to you. I know that darn wind is doing a number on us right now, guys. But this is a good spot to get a little shot. Stopping to rest a minute, guys. <clears throat> Can't take too long because I need to boogie out of here in time to make the bank in town, which not sure I'm going to make it anyway because I'm a couple hours in still. I'll tell you guys the name of this lake, but I can't remember offhand. I don't really care, to be honest with you guys. This lake could give a shit what you call it. It doesn't know it has a name. And as far as I'm concerned, nobody cares what the name is. Or maybe nobody doesn't care. That is uh, from whence we came, out that way. And I thought it would do well to show some of the trail because I know Doug you're really into this Pacific Crest Trail and this is some more of it that I, I haven't taken the time to film yet. And those lakes that I showed you were also on it, and uh, this is this is just another section. This is what you'd be viewing as you were strolling along, my friends. This is a really nice section. I haven't done a lot of sections of it, really. I think next year we're going to do do some planning and, and do some really long sections and check it all out, because it does go through some cool areas that we go to anyway. Nice evening shot of the meadow, guys. <clears throat> that uh, That's where I took you through last time when it started snowing on us. We headed out that way. This time, we're up on the, uh, we're up on the Pacific Crest this time, which rides really flat along the mountainside. The meadow down there is a pretty good climb. That's, that's, I prefer that trail, but I saw a bunch of mountain bike tracks in it. I even think one of my buddies is riding that meadow. And uh, there's a few spots where it would be really scary uh, if a mountain bike came through because you wouldn't be able to see them coming. So Eric, don't run me over. I doubt you guys watch the show. But if so, hi Eric and Nick. Okay guys, here's one last shot of the valley we just came from. That farthest ridge is the ridge we were on. We were clear back. Clear back there where you can't even see anymore. I'm about ready to go for the night. Well, that's where the PCT takes off out of here. Man, I can't tell you guys how many piles of dog crap I passed on that trail. Guess Leave No Trace doesn't have anything to do with your dog. Because these are all super earthy, super subaru -y people here. Yeah. Piles of dog crap all over the trail. It don't matter. That's natural, right? Anyway, guys. See you next week.